hello everybody and uh, thank you for the time uh, today to let me show you a couple new products that Ecobee has to offer on the pro side of the business. Um, I'm Eric Yeagley, National Account Manager for Ecobee on the pro side of our uh, sales channel. So um, today I want to introduce you to our Smart uh, Thermostat Enhanced and our Smart Thermostat Premium, uh, two brand new thermostats that we've been working hard at for the last couple of years. Um, want to run you through, get you familiar from a high level uh, what they're all about and how they're different from uh, the predecessors that you're familiar with. So um, with that being said, I wanna jump in and uh, just show you uh, the two new products side by side. What you're looking at on the left is the Enhanced. That is our new of uh, the two products. Um, this is the Smart Enhanced. And then we have our Smart Premium. The Smart Premium is a direct replacement with some upgrades done to it from the Smart Pro that you guys are all familiar with. And the Smart Enhanced is effectively a brand new product for us that hasn't been released until today. I want to show you the Smart Enhanced first and what it's all about. And so when you look at the Smart Enhanced, it's uh, two heat, two cool on a conventional and three stages of heat and two stages of cool on a heat pump system. The Smart Enhanced also does support an accessory, which is important. If you guys know our Ecobee 3 Lite, um, that product didn't have accessory support. Uh, this one now does. If you have accessories that are powered off of the equipment, that would be considered a one wire accessory and that would hook up directly to the Smart Enhanced and you can control that. But you'll also notice that the new screen is larger. It is actually a full four inch color screen that is a 540 by 540 megapixel. So double the screen size is what you're used to. Uh, definitely a cleaner, higher resolution, which is nice. It is multi-speed fan compatible. And also another product feature that we've had added to the Smart Enhanced is uh, this now has an occupancy sensor built in to the face of the thermostat. So if you remember um, the Smart Pro, the Smart Pro always had an occupancy sensor built into the face of that stat. It was on the bottom left, the little kidney bean shape. Um, that is now built into the Enhanced as well, but you cannot see it. Uh, you cannot see it because it is actually built in behind the glass um, on the face of the thermostat. And so it makes it just a nice, clean, professional look um, and all that. Also, this stat is carrying the five-year warranty, similar to our old uh, pro models. So all pro models carry a five-year warranty. Uh, the one thing I always like to highlight with this is the warranty starts on the date of first internet connection. So the beauty is you can have it on your truck. Um, your distributor can have it in stock. Um, you don't have to worry about the warranty period starting until the date of first internet connection. Um, no paperwork or anything. So also the Smart Enhanced, you will see, does not come with any wireless sensors. All the previous sensors that you're used to with Ecobee, um, those sensors are forwards and backwards compatible. So you can go ahead and take your existing Ecobee smart sensors and add them to the Enhance with no problem. Now we have moved to a more elevated design. Uh, it's double the screen size like I was mentioning. The font's even larger than it was before. Um, and the other nice part about this is we have deleted the slider. So what you are used to seeing on our thermostats, uh, the slider to change the, uh, the temperature, has now gone away. It is a two-part um, way to change the temperature now. So if you touch the face of the thermostat at any point, you will see this new display that I show you right here. Go ahead and touch it. You now have the ability to go ahead and change the temperature this way, or you can change it by using the digital plus minus on the, uh, the right-hand side. So the premium is, again, the direct replacement to the Smart Pro. The nice part here is the premium is two heat, two cool on a conventional system four heat, two cool on a heat pump system. So exactly what you're used to with the Smart Pro is a copy paste compatibility with the premium. The other thing, it's got that full four inch color screen, 540 megapixel display. And then the side of the th thermostat, when you look at the side of this thermostat right here, you will notice that is a metal frame. It's a satin nickel, uh, zinc alloy, I should say, metal frame, very, very industrial, modern, clean looking thermostat. Um, really looks sleek on the wall. Um, tighter to the wall, the glass is a very mirrored-like glass where when that stat is not on, it just looks very clean on the wall. Um, the other thing I wanna point out here is everything that you're used to with Alexa being built in. Um, if, I, if I say Alexa right now, you will see the screen will change, different visual cue than in the past, uh, an elevated visual cue, I should say, and uh, still dual fuel compatible, still multi-speed fan compatible if you're not using a proprietary controller 
um, controller for that multi-speed fan equipment. So everything that you're used to with that Ecobee has stayed the same, uh, just an elevated design. Last but not least, the one thing I really wanna drive home is we are now monitoring indoor air quality. So when I now look at this thermostat and I go ahead and select up here, um, I can go ahead and now and see what kind of air quality we have in the place um, simply by going to the main menu here and, um, oops, where can I see it? Right here. And it shows what our current air quality is in here. It's now um, reading out VOCs and CO2 in the home. And so when I switch gears and go into the next slide here, this gives you a better view of what you're looking at here. Um, this indoor air quality sensor um, is built into the thermostat. There is nothing that you need to do from an install standpoint. The minute that the thermostat turns on, it is automatically engaged and uh, starting the calibrating process. Visually, uh, how this looks right now is what you see. The beauty is if you have an accessory hooked up, if you have a ventilator hooked up, if we detect poor air quality in the home, automatically we will kick on the ventilator and cycle in fresh air. So nice opportunity there. Also, we'll kick on a fan if you have poor air quality. If you have a fresh air UV or any other kind of a UV product, it will go ahead and uh, pass air past that UV product, clean up the air, all that good stuff. So the one thing I want to call out too, it is a relative PME sensor and not an absolute. So since it's a relative PME sensor, this allows us to not have to recalibrate the air quality sensor on an annual basis. Um, allows you to keep uh, the stat on the wall for years to come without recalibration. The relative sensor, what it's gonna do is it's gonna calibrate over time uh, after install, and it's gonna detect what's the best air quality we've seen in the house and what's the worst air quality we've seen in the house. And that now establishes the relative band for that air quality for that home. When it deviates outside of the band, um, it will either be considered great relative to what it historically is or poor relatively to what it historically is. Um, so that's how that will work. Uh, that air, that band will change over time, of course, um, but that's how that works with the relative air quality sensor. And then the other thing I wanna hit on too is, of course, we are gonna now update the app as well to mirror what you see on the thermostat. So with the different user interface, we are gonna come out with a, a brand new app. When you install a brand new Ecobee, automatically that new app will come right behind with it. It will know that you're hooking up a brand new Ecobee with that different user interface and you will see this user interface that you see here on the thermostat. Keeping that mirrored interface is important. We wanna make this a seamless experience across the hardware on the wall versus the app on the phone, and um, that is that. Thank you for the time. Um, any questions, my contact information's there. F please feel free to reach out to Jackson Systems, the sales team at Jackson, more than happy to support. Um, available at any point for contractor trainings, uh, learn more, one-on-one -on -one calls, whatever it may be. So thank you again and uh, have a good day.